What do you say when you break this little sex slump before the nausea kicks in? Ooh. Okay. Too late. Let's start without me. So our pregnant wife just told us to have sex while listening to her bark. I've never been so aroused. We're doing Polly all wrong. Two of us need to be able to have sex without the third one getting their feelings hurt. I'm gonna walk out that door and you two are gonna do the nasty. You guys are lame. You're like the deaf leading the blind leading the stupid. You need polytherapy. Just because your partners have sex, go to the movies or have sex at the movies without you, it doesn't mean you're being left out. Jack and Emma, you stepped outside of your relationship to find a spark, and that spark's name is Izzy. Like in this. So why shouldn't she have the same opportunity to explore? Is that what you want? No. You guys are trying to jam your pervy, triangular-shaped peg no, no, to the round hole that is suburban monogamy, and you're doomed to break one, the other, or both. Hi, I live next door. I'm Polly, which means I'm bi. It's lovely to meet you, Polly. Good luck fitting in. Under the bad, bad moon tonight. You let a pregnant, suburban, married couple take your entire life. I'm happy. Zero second thoughts. Are we trying to make you, me, and her look just like you and me? Let me out, I'm trapped in a blur. Started out the way I wanted, but I swear now. Let me out, I'm lost in the world. Just imagining any version of my life without them makes me the saddest I've ever been. I want to tell you everything will be fine. But I'm afraid this will waste your time. If this isn't what you want, then why didn't you just say something? You guys are all scared of rocking the boat. But the boat needs to be rocked. We're trying to figure out if we can have sex in twos. Well, I'm sure that made sense to you. It does.